Welcome back guys. Right here we got BJ from the Wild Bearing. And here we got Dan, the saltiest of the boys from Salty Boys Fishing. Good to have you guys here. So today we are going to be doing almost like a podcast style mini series where we're just going to be going over a few different topics regarding to fishing, scuba diving, spear fishing, and hopefully we're going to learn some more about it as well as hopefully we can teach you guys a little bit about it. So yes. if you guys have anything to add to the video, we may have messed up. We are human. Go ahead and drop down the comments below. So Yeah, look, what we say is not the end all be all. We're gonna give you our experience, our knowledge, maybe some research that we've done. But if you have uh, some ideas or things that you've used that have worked for you, have worked for you, let us know. We're uh, we're always you know, we always wanna learn and uh, we'll probably you know try it out, see if it works for us too. If not, and maybe we'll post a video up, see how it works. But um, yeah. Awesome. So let's get right into it. <laughs> bottom fishing so typically you're gonna be in a boat when bottom fishing technically by definition you could be bottom fishing from the pier or the shore but what we're covering today is bottom fishing via a boat so how to see what is bottom fishing <laughs> uh, bottom fishing is typically you're fishing for species that either live or feed on the bottom all right so uh, that's where obviously you're casting out your bait yeah so these fish Typically, you're gonna be looking for different types of bottom, right? So you could fish structures, reefs, or you could kind of just drive your boat around using your uh, bottom finder, and you could look for small little drop-offs or holes that something like a grouper might be in. So what are some of those target species now that we're on it that we're gonna be targeting? Um, some of the fish that we have caught um, are redfish, amberjack, snapper, grouper, um, flounder, just to name a few. There's others out there, man. You might, like, who knows what you're gonna catch, you know? Could... Hey, you know, go ahead and drop below what kind of fish you guys have caught bottom fishing. Yeah. So, what are we gonna be using for our gear setup, you know, during bottom fishing typically? Yeah, good question. Um, so, when it comes to your rod, you're gonna be using a level wind or a spinning reel. And then the bait that you're gonna be using is live bait or dead bait. We're talking about different kinds of bait. Let's uh, rattle off a few. So, we got squid, pinfish. Pilchards. Mullet, well, put in the comments if you think I could rock a mullet. <laughs> Anyways, what else? <laughs> we, also, we also got Men Hayden, also known as Bunker. And Goggle Eye. And that's just a few of the baits that we use here in Florida as well as Virginia. So, yeah. go ahead and uh, let me know, is BJ gonna rock a mullet? A hundred yeah, yeah. likes and BJ has to grow a mullet. All right. <laughs> well, really, we like to use three primary rigs personally. There's plenty of others, so go ahead and you can uh, fight in the comments about which is the best. But yeah. what are the three we like to use? Three different setups that we typically use are the Carolina rig, um, the knocker rig, and the chicken or the drop rig. Um, do you want to go into what the Carolina rig is? Yeah, so right here we have a Carolina rig. I'll put it right there. And uh, so basically, you're going to have a hook a little bit of line, and then you're gonna have your swivel and your weight. So the next one is gonna be a knocker rig, so primarily it's gonna be a hook, then your weight with some beads attached to your leader material. It's not, you're not gonna have a swivel in between your hook and your weight. We'll go, go ahead and go into the drop rig or the chicken rig, and that one's gonna have your weight at the bottom, and then you can have, typically we do two different branches, as you guys can see up here, with, so we have two hooks on that one, but you can put more than two hooks or you could even just do one hook if you'd like, but that's primarily used for catching some of the smaller type of snapper, maybe some flounder, but you're typically not gonna be targeting things such as amberjack or grouper using a chicken or drop rig. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a like, follow, and share with your friends. Bottoms up to bottom fishing.